G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is simplifying fractions, and it's a pretty easy thing to do. Uh, I'll just launch straight into it. So say, for example, we had the following fraction, four out of eight, four eighths, and I'll even draw it up right now. So what we mean when we say we're going to simplify this fraction here is we're looking for a common factor that goes into both the top number and the bottom number here, into the numerator and the denominator. So we can find a common number that goes into both of it. Then what we can do is we can divide that factor into these numbers and reduce the top and the bottom number here so they're in more simple terms. I'll show you what I mean by this. So what is a common number that goes into both 4 and into 8? And the highest common factor that I can think of here would be 4. 4 goes into 4 one time and it goes into 8 two times. So if we go 4 divided by 4 we get 1 and 8 divided by 4 we get 2. So an equivalent fraction to 4 over 8 is 1 half, okay? And they mean exactly the same thing. As you can see here, uh, in terms of these dots here, half of them are shaded in, but we've made the numbers a lot more simple. And that's all it's meant by simplification. Now, can we take this any further? Well, because we've got a 1 here, we can see straight away that we can't, but there is no common factor that we could divide into both 1 and 2 that would reduce it any further. So, no, we can't. So what about another example? Okay, for our next example, we're going to have a look at another fraction, uh, 16 out of 24. We'll get to a hard example after this one, but something nice and easy to start off with here. So 16 out of 24. Now, is there a common number that goes into both of these, and what is the highest common number that goes into both? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to not choose the highest common one, which is 8. I'm going to choose the one below that, which is 4, and I'm going to show you why. Uh, so say I'd, I'd chosen 4 accidentally, I had, couldn't see a higher factor, and I'd chosen 4. So 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4, and 24 divided by 4 is equal to 6. Now what you can see here, is you can see with this particular fraction here, it can be taken further. There is a common factor that goes into both 4 and 6, which is 2. Okay, so if I just do this, divide by 2, divide by 2, what do we get? 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2, and 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Now, because there's no common factor that goes into both 2 and 3 that would reduce it any further, this is our most simple form of 16 out of 24. But as I was trying to show you with this, is you can do this in steps if you want to. Uh, if you had a divided straight by 8, you could have gone 16 divided by 8 and got 2, 24 divided by 8 and got 3, and you could have saved yourself a step. But occasionally you will do steps in between, and that's okay if you do do that. Okay, another example. Okay, what about 6 and 21 out of 28? So I'm going to put a mixed number in here. So what we do when we have a mixed number, now this is pretty easy. What we do is, first off, this number is going to stay the same. The actual whole number here, the 6, is going to stay the same. We're not going to modify that whatsoever. We don't need to do anything to simplify this at all. So our answer is just going to start with a 6. The only part that we need to simplify is this part here. So let's do that. What's the common number that goes into both 21 and 28? And you could say, okay, 7 does. Divide by 7, divide by 7. So 21 divided by 7 is equal to 3. Uh, 28 divided by 7 is equal to 4. And there's no common factor that goes into both 3 and 4 that will reduce it any further. So this is as simple as it gets. So now all I need to do is just add this whole number component to it, this 6 to it. All right, what about a couple of examples for you to do? Okay, simplify the following. Uh, 22 out of 50. What about we simplify uh, 21 out of 56? And finally, I'll put a mixed number in here. What about 2 and 16 out of 64? All right, go through and try to do these. So first off, look for that highest common factor and reduce, reduce, reduce. So... 22 divided by 50. Now, looking at this uh, number that goes into both of these, now look, you could look straight away and say, okay, 2 goes into both of these. Now, 2 is a nice, easy one. They're both even numbers, so we can say that. Okay, let's divide both the top and the bottom by 2. Okay, 22 divided by 2 is equal to 11. 50 divided by 2 is equal to 25. Is there a common number that goes into both 11 and 25? Well, not that I can think of. So... This is the most simple version of what we have. Uh, okay, let's have a look at the next number here. 21 and 56, what number goes into both of these? Number seven, right? Seven goes into 21 three times, and it goes into 56 eight times, because seven eighths are 56. Uh, 
All right, is there a common number that goes into both three and eight? No, there's not. So this is the most simple version of 21 out of 56. Okay, uh, the last question you had here. So the two is going to stay the same. We're just going to need to simplify the fraction component of it. So what's a common number that goes into both 16 and 64? Now I'm going to tell you the biggest one that I can think of straight away. The number that goes into both of these, you could choose two and you could choose four and you could choose eight, but I'm going the heavy hitters. I... I'm going to say the biggest factor that goes into both of these is 16. 16 goes into 16 once, and it goes into 64 four times. Uh, and that whole number there stays the same. So this is equal to two and a quarter. You might have had to do that in multiple steps, but hopefully you got that same answer. And that's the right answer. So anyway, how did you find that? It's not too bad, right? Simplification. It's really simple, if you pardon the really bad dad joke there. Anyway. We'll see you next time. Bye.